And welcome back to this midweeks episode of Gabe's Cave. This is your Meet the Artist, and I got a fantastic one for you guys to meet this week as well. But before we can do any of that, you know what we always got to do. We just got to take a minute out and thank that sponsor, RPGHiring.com. If you guys are looking for a new career and you live in Arkansas, Tennessee, Kansas, Missouri, or Oklahoma, they are always hiring. You don't have to have any experience, and I promise you this much, they are building people and they are changing lives. So definitely check them out if maybe you're just fed up with your job. And today, this week, we've got Mr. Matthew Lopez. (sighs) (laughs) <laughs> thank you thank you too kind too yeah kind. man absolutely bro so uh glad to meet you and uh it's sort of person you're like life size right now on the big screen in front of me it's like it's like you're in person yeah yeah i know it might as well be godzilla or something huh yeah it's, it's <laughs> super sized matthew one time all i need you to do is like stomp around and make some like monkey noises and we'll be right on target exactly yeah <laughs> so, brother, you sent some amazing cards, and 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 these cards are at the bottom, and we're I'm sure we're going to find out all kinds of interesting things about Matthew and why he did all these cards as we get on with this interview. But I want to go ahead and just go ahead and announce this right now. I want you cave maniacs to look down here at the bottom, and you'll see these three Spider-Man cards. Okay, you'll see Tom, and you'll see all the OGs. All right. Whether or not you liked him or not, I think that's one of the best Spider-Men we've ever had on camera. You know, so the the, yeah. the the three solidified people. He told me before this, before we started rolling, that he had in his mind that these cards should be together. They should be displayed together. They should be on the shelf together. So here you go, Cave of Maniacs. If you win this, you get all three of these. OK, yeah, <laughs> we've 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 done that kind of stuff before, but because he sent all the cards back. OK, and he and he and he blessed us with that. All right. If you get if you get first place or whatever or whatever place you get, you know, because first place could pick Darth Vader. This is amazing card. So you don't know. First place might not want the Spider-Man, but whoever gets Spider-Man. OK, these three are Spider-Man. You're going to get all three of these cards. All right. So you lucky, lucky, lucky people, you. <laughs> All right, brother, let's jump right up here. This man did, sure. does his own stunts, been hurt more than probably any other actor that we know of, and just keeps pumping out the goodness. Uh, there was like a whole decade where like every awesome movie had this dude in it, and that's Jackie Chan. And you told me before we started, this was from uh, Police, Police, Police Story. Story. Yeah, police story. I said Rumble in the Bronx, young young Jackie. You know, it's all around that same time era. So tell me, why police story specifically, and why Jackie Chan? Well, you know, Jack, uh, Jackie Chan. He's probably like one of my favorite actors right now. Um, he's been. I've been watching the movie since I've been growing up. Uh, police story. You know, I found that out, and uh, I found out about it a couple years ago, and it's been my favorite movie ever since. And I just figured, you know, around the time when I was doing the cards, I just wanted to do something that, you know, I held near and dear to my heart. And Police Story, that scene where he's fighting all those people in the mall and everything, that was just, that was just a great scene. And then at that one moment, that one frame where he's just like, oh, you're going to, you're going to square up on me? Like, I just had the, you know, the the feeling to just like, I want to draw that, you know? So how long have you been doing cards like this? Uh, you know, I've been doing cards since I want to say 2017. Um, I started with Upper Deck. Yeah. Um, you know, just doing like a bunch of the uh, uh, Marvel superheroes stuff like that. And what 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 type of uh, medium did you use doing all these cards? A lot of it. Um, mostly all of them are just a uh, coping marker with. Uh, some prismas in them prisma color uh, color pencils uh i might have used like some uh white out pen or something like that but majority is just uh ink copic markers and prismas fantastic work brother fantastic work thank you i appreciate it next up we've got probably everybody's favorite version of daredevil here and uh, yeah you know he's iconic uh why daredevil uh you know i think it was around the time when they announced that daredevil was going to be in the she-hulk show 
And already for me, Daredevil was like my favorite hero from the Netflix shows and everything. It like a lot of every for everybody, you know. So I just again like I just wanted to do the do an image of Daredevil because like you guys allowed the you know a lot of flexibility for what artists are allowed to draw. So I just said, ah, the heck with it, you know. Well, glad for that freedom once again because we get some fantastic yep. pieces when when that is allowed. Uh, and dude, uh, next up, like, you did a really good job on this card. Like, I love her as Scarlet Witch. I, I love her as an actress anyway, but, uh, yeah. this is a fantastic card, dude. So why, why Scarlet Witch? Uh, Multiverse of Madness was like my favorite movie too around that time. And Scarlet Witch, uh, I forget the name of the actress, you know, but, uh, she just had such a great role in that movie. Elizabeth, I help it. Elizabeth Olsen. There we go. Thank you very much. Yep. See, I don't know. Uh, I didn't know some of this stuff. You know what I mean? But I know her name. Yeah. No. Whoop, whoop. I. Yeah. <laughs> you know, her name evaded me at the moment. So thank you for thank you for telling me that. Um, <laughs> we have each other's back. But yeah. No, yeah. I appreciate that. I got you too, man. <laughs> but yeah. No. Um, Multiverse of Madness was just a great movie, and she had such an amazing role, you know, seeing somebody from who was already a hero in the movies to, like, becoming this, like, corrupted version of herself was just so powerful that, you know, I just wanted to draw it really badly, and I I, I, I don't know, to me, I feel like I did a good job on it. Some parts, you know, always with an artist are going to be like, uh, maybe I could have done something different, but no, th- hearing your praise, you know, makes me feel a lot better, so thank you. Oh no no, it's fantastic! Is this your first? Is this your first season with Gabe's Cave? This is my first season, yeah. How did you find out about us? I'm interested. You know, my brother, um, he actually he also did a set for you guys for the last season too. Uh, Drew Lopez, I drew Andrew. Um, he did a set. He told he sent me the link saying, "Hey, you, sh- you should do some work for these guys." You know, there's more flexibility and everything. You can do whatever you want, and like some of the other companies. So I just said. Oh, you know, why not, why not throw my hat out there, you know? Well, I'm uh, glad that you did. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, me too. And even though all the Spideys are coming together and you get a three for one, there are gonna, there's going to be some cards. Uh, the, I feel like Scarlet Witch is one of them. And, I, and, and this next one, like it's going to be interesting to see if, if, if First Choice actually picks the three Spider-Man or if they're going to go with something else because this this vader right here is fantastic dog thank you yeah that one was such a it was so fun to draw it was a challenge though just because you know uh all the uh, uh the, the mask part wasn't too hard you know it's just the the highlights reds blacks but the hardest part for me was you know just trying to get the detail on his burnt side of his face right you know but um i don't know just something in me that day when i was coloring it, i was i felt i felt good about it you know well, happy day. Happy day. Happy, happy, day. happy days. <laughs> Next, we have the man with split personalities, just like Darth Vader's split helmet here, and that is Mark Spector, Mr. Yeah. Mister Moon Knight himself. Uh, he did a good job on that role. He did a great job. Um, he's a good actor. Uh, just he's amazing. Overall, he's a good actor, yeah. Yeah, and... You know, I wanted to show some love to the show. Some, you know, a lot of people were praising it. Some others were just like, eh, it's a DC, you know, not DC, sorry, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, it's a just an MCU show on Disney, you know, so I just thought, why not so, so show some love to something that, you know, I thought was amazing. Mm-hmm. And he just knocked it out of the park with that, with that role. Oh, yeah, it's just great. Just great acting with for the Moon Knight. Uh, I'm not a, a, a and if you if you've heard me gripe and you hear if you watch any of the episodes, you'll know that like I'm not like the biggest fan of things that Marvel have done to certain things and characters and story arcs and stuff like that. But yeah. I was completely 110 percent satisfied with him as Moon Knight. Like I felt like I felt like casting was done really well, and I, I look forward to see what he gives us in the future from that character. Uh, it's it's like Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man, and and Chris Hemsworth is Thor, and like Chris Evans is Captain America. Like when you actually sit down and you think about it, like I don't think I could recast those characters to anyone better suited to be those characters. 
even oh, not at all. Yeah, yeah, so he's he's right up there with yeah. us. And the good guy that we didn't know we wanted, Billy the B A D A Z Z Butcher <laughs> from the boys. He's he's like yeah, he's the hero that like goes to the pub. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. So not that you have to explain yourself with the boys because it's pretty iconic at this point, but you know why Billy Butcher? Well, Billy Butcher, he's like like you said, like he's the guy who's gonna he's gonna save some people, but he's gonna be you know he's gonna have an attitude about it. He's gonna do some dirty stuff to to do to get it done, you know. So honestly, I mean, like you said, the boys is iconic already. I just had to draw some boys. Um, Billy Butcher, he's just like one, you know, compared to Homelander, he's like. One of, on, on top, you know, I just had to do some representation for that. You know what I mean? Well, I think you did a fantastic job. Uh, great, great job at capturing an expression on the face. Uh, just absolutely wonderful card. You guys are going to be blessed and lucky to get these in your hand. Just like always, because he sent back more, the camera is zoomed out a little more than what it uh, is sometimes. So you might not be able to see all the all the good little details, but you will when you get them in your hand. Next up, we've got Spider-Man's boss, Jonah Jameson, and he's laughing hysterically like he tends to do. Uh, just a great choice of pose to capture his likeness and, and put that on a card. Any specific reason why you chose him? I just want to do a funny picture, you know? Um, not for, you know, kind of for the memes, but I just want to do something that, you know, if somebody got their hands on this, they'd get a good chuckle or they, they you know, appreciate it a bit more, you know what I mean? Um and J. John Jameson, I think I just, you know, Spider-Man 2 always has a special place in my heart. And that, you know, that that meme, that scene itself is just like, you know, it's special. <laughs> it's solidified in pop culture. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. People see this and they immediately know what movie that came from. Yeah. <laughs> they, you know. Even if they don't know what his name is, they know what movie that came from. Exactly. It's it's one of those t examples, too, of pictures you can hear, you know? Right, yeah, pictures you can hear. That's exactly right. Uh, speaking of pictures you can hear, if you see this and you don't hear a flute playing, I just feel sorry for you because that means you you probably didn't grow up in some of the best era to be a kid on, on TV that there was. Here we've got Tommy, the Green Ranger, the OG Green Ranger suit. Just fantastic card, bro. R.I.P. Jason David Frank. Yeah. Uh, one of the greatest yeah uh just you know tell us tell us why you know not that you have to tell us why but tell us why <laughs> no for sure you know uh i was a power ranger kid you know like i may not have been born when it was you know coming out at its peak but i grew up watching that stuff with my older brother uh just the green ranger like you know me not me, i may not have been there for when it you know when it was first coming out but even you know watching the reruns i was just like like i probably was like a really kid in the 90s just like blown blown away just caught off guard you know like we watched how many episodes of these guys in colorful spanish being good guys and then one of them just he's just evil all of a sudden you know that that was awesome and just like the way he was like the the the, the force that he brought on to the other rangers was just amazing he was the and goldberg of Power Rangers, like he could literally exactly, jump out yeah. and whoop all the other Power Rangers by himself. Exactly. Like he was enough for, yeah. It just made it, you know. And that way, when he turned good, just like who could stop him now? Now that Tommy's a good exactly. guy, who can stop these people? I mean, if this man could force out all the Rangers from the Megazord head, you know, by himself and just take him out by himself on his first day, who honestly could stop that? Like you said, like unstoppable yeah unstoppable um as you guys are watching this episode um because some of you may have just popped in just for him specifically and, and you know what there ain't nothing wrong with that i hope you enjoy this enough to keep coming back and watch other people but uh what will have already aired before this comes out is when we were at oklahoma city pop culture con we got to do a panel of the legend of the white dragon so we actually had jason font and uh, jason david frank's daughter she was on the uh she was starred in the show as his daughter and she was on the panel so you guys definitely go back and watch that if you have not seen that and i'm sure you will enjoy it um moving on to a a a version of the joker uh a fantastically done 
movie that I'm mad about. So <laughs> here we have <laughs> it's in case you don't know, it's no big secret. Like I love the cinematic work and all of the thought that they put into this, but I stand with some of the original DC writers where they say like the Joker was never meant to be empathized with. Like he was so psychotic. Like he's one of those characters, like you're not supposed to connect with him on an emotional level right. and, and feel sorry for him or want better for your want to, you, you're supposed to want to see him get his butt kicked. You know what I mean? Right. You're yeah. never, you're never supposed to feel sorry for someone like the Joker. And they did that. And they, you know, if they'd have named this movie, the downtrodden, or the forgotten, or something like that, and they made the exact same movie, and they they maybe didn't put the Joker paint on him, but they did the exact same movie and just left the whole Bruce Wayne tie in it. I would have loved that movie. I would have been like, oh, it would have been great, yeah, yeah. I, and it's still a great show, but I can't I can't see him evolving into the Joker that was, you know, besting Batman and being that supervillain that we all knew and loved. So. Yeah, not from how they, not from the character development they gave us there. And moving right along from him, uh, well, and we didn't even talk about it. Why did you do him in the first place? Why did you do the Joker? I was going to just skip him right, right over. I was like, you know what? Great movie, fantastic card, awesome capture of the face. But let's just skip this all together. No, you were, you were in, you were in the moment. You had the passion. I totally understand. So believe me, I have that about movies too. Um, why I did that card? Uh. Kind of like the, how you were saying, like it was the first movie with the Joker where it's like, oh, we're gonna make, we're gonna make him feel, we're gonna make the people watching this feel some sort of compassion, try to relate with him, you know. And that scene where he's, you know, against uh, the the talk show host Murray, you know, just like the anger, like he's got this big painted face on, but even past the the paint, the face paint, you can still see like he is angry, he is pissed, you know. So it's just was a really great image to just like wanted to pick yeah it's it is it is good like i'll put it like this i will, I will not to stay on this subject way too long because cave man x out there watching it's like <laughs> shut up already uncle nasty like you've told us a hundred times i'm telling you again like it i did i liked the movie i was sitting there and my leg like parts of the movie like i got to where my leg was just like bouncing like i was like almost yeah. like i was having an anxiety attack almost and my girl yeah. is watching the movie. She's like, um, "Are you okay? Do we need to leave?" And I was like, "No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine." And she's like, "What? What is wrong with you?" Because she like she's looking at me, and I had this kind of look on my face, like I'm like, "They destroyed the Joker," you know? <laughs> I'm like, oh, "I'm so mad." <laughs> but then at the end of the movie, I was like, "God, it was so good!" <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's such a good movie. I hate it. <laughs> hate you for being a good movie. So yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> the Batman, uh, fantastic card, fantastic version of the Batman. Um, explain this. Why? Why did you decide to ch do this version of the Batman? Uh, the well, from the movie itself, just like how I don't, I don't know if original is the right word, but just how fresh the movie was. You know, on that whole take of Batman, um, and just the actor himself just knocked it out of the park. And again, you know, it's just. I see the image and I just wanted to draw it. And that image of him just looking off to the to the side, it's just, it was just uh, something in me just like, I need to draw that. Just, and I want to get some Batman love into the set too, because it's Batman, you know? Yeah, I love like, Batman. Yeah. What kid don't love Batman, I guess? I don't know. I don't want to meet that person who doesn't like Batman. I don't either. Tone Rodriguez definitely doesn't want to meet the person that doesn't like Batman. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, if you ever meet him at a con, don't go up to his booth talking crap about Batman. Okay, no. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Yeah, I have a commission from him that he did for me, and it's uh, uh, Bigfoot ripping Batman's arm off, right? Oh, wow. And when I'm a Bigfoot guy, and I have this deceased uh, dead planet, blank and that's what we put it on there and uh mm -hmm. at first he told me no that he wasn't he's like i'm not i can't do that and i was like what why and he was like because i love batman too much and then he <laughs> came he came back the next morning he was like well you know bane did break his back and he's had some yeah. issues and he was like so i guess bigfoot could rip his arm off you know like right so i have a i have this blank sketch cover where bigfoot is snatching 
Batman's arm off, and then on the back, he added this. I didn't ask nothing about this, but it's got a little sketch of Robin on the back, and it's like, hey, Batman, where'd you go? <laughs> that sounds awesome. It's just awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. Uh, just fantastic artwork. Next, Speaking of fantastic artwork, uh, this is the actress that made me love her as Wonder Woman. This is one of those ones yeah. that I wasn't convinced when she was cast, when I was like, really? I don't know about that. But I feel like I feel like she killed it, bro. I I, I did, yeah, yeah, I love her as Wonder Woman. It yeah, and wow. and she like has that like whatever that it is that like when she looks into the camera and you like you can feel superhero superhero ish. You know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. Just like the um, like, just like the look that like the like. You, you just have to look at somebody to make them feel like intimidated, you know, to like make them feel small, I guess, you know, and she just has that whenever she wears that TR, whenever she looks right at the camera or whoever she's looking at, it's just like, like, oh, you know, she means business. I also really dig the ah, 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 in the music that they always do when they <laughs> cut to her. <laughs> it's the little cherry on top. It is, man. dog. It's the little like cherry, that. dog. It's the little things that yeah. matter the most. It is. Oh, man. Fantastic, dude. Um, speaking of the boys, right underneath Billy Butcher here, and I love I love this facial expression. I love that <laughs> you didn't just make, like, the mean, like, sneering Homelander. Like, explain. Explain yourself. Explain yourself now. <laughs> Like okay, don't 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 put me on on trial here. No, I'm kidding. Um, you know, again, just the boys, iconic show already. Three, I mean, just three seasons and everybody loves it. Billy Butcher or sorry, Homelander, he's just one crazy man, you know. Uh, he's just psychotic, and just that look that he gives to that little uh, to that to that poor uh computer person that he's talking to is just like I, I can do whatever the heck I want. Like you can feel the insanity just in his eyes. Um, and I, 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 the reason I did him and Billy Butcher is like, yeah, one's good, one's evil, but they're both willing to do some dirty stuff to get what they want to get done, you know? Like, nothing is off the table. So, and just like, again, how crazy, he, they're both crazy, but you know, just the way that Homelander looks at some people or, you know, when he gets mad, he looks even crazier, you know what I mean? You see, Homelander is one of those villains that like every like throughout the whole show like i couldn't help but feel bad for that dude like right. you know what i mean but he's such a bad dude you want to see him lose no matter how how bad how bad exactly. you feel for him he's a horrible he's a horrible person if you if you're watching right. out there and you guys um have not watched the boys don't watch it with your kids at all no. okay don't do that no. but if you are interested in seeing what it would be like, and Invincible, this is another good example of this, the animated show Invincible. But if you're mm -hmm. interested in seeing what what it could possibly be like, if like Superman and Batman and all those guys were Aquaman and those guys, if they were bad guys, like if they yeah. did really bad things behind closed doors and the, and the public thought that they were good superheroes, but behind closed doors they were really bad people, then you need to check out the boys because that's that that that'll tickle that need to know what it would be like if these guys weren't actually good people and had a good heart and soul. Exactly, it's terrifying. It, it's scary. You mentioned Aquaman. Don't get me started on the boys' version of Aquaman. Oh yeah, dude, he's Disgusting. yeah, dog. He's ugh. Oh my God, dog! And yeah, he, he plays. Yeah, dude, he plays that role so good. It, yeah. yeah, I don't know how. Like some of these dudes, like they play such a good bad guy. Like you have to be worried about them. Like, like there's something about those people in real life. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Don't don't go. They got, they got a little bit of a monster in them. Yeah, don't go to a house party where he's offering you a, a couch to sleep on at night. You know what I'm saying? Let's just stay away from yeah. that invite, maybe. All right, guys. Last, say you're busy. Not least, we have these uh, amazing Spider-Man cards down here at the bottom that he said that he intended them to stay together. So he sent all of his cards back. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to stay together. One of you lucky winners is going to get three for one. Congratulations. So tell us, tell us, man, and and you know, not that you need to explain yourself because the fact that they were all together in the movie and the fact that it was so good. At the same time, it's just 
Fantastic. Yes. And I'm glad to see them all three here looking at me. Yeah. Especially yeah. green eyes here. Exactly. Yep. Totally, man. He's awesome. <laughs> like, those green eyes, man. No. <laughs> Uh, like you said, you put in your own words. It's just, the movie was so amazing, you know, just how good that movie was to have all three Spider Men together. Um, you know, I was looking for ways to depict each of them like uniquely in their own way or something like that. But then I remembered that, you know, the movie literally gives everybody like a, a shot of each of each Spider Man unmasked and everything and I just wanted to do some love for that movie because that movie, Spider-Man holds a special place in my heart. I love that movie. I, you could probably see that poster right there. I do. I see yeah, it. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I just wanted to give some love to that movie because honestly, like I said, like, I think I, in my stammering and stuff that I just love that movie so much. It was just a, you know, an iconic moment, you know, it, it, that whole movie was just in uh, its own iconic moment. Well, thank you for feeling so strongly about it that you felt like you needed to do this, and I'm sure that the Cave Maniacs out there are happy and pleased that uh, that you that you did something and you intended for three to go to one. They're going to be excited. Uh, so, yeah. look, what what projects? I know I know specifics you can't tell a lot on, uh, especially when you're working on cards. Mm -hmm. But you let people know your social media where they can follow you and anything that you may have coming up that they, that you can tell them about that they can look forward to and any con appearances that you may be going to where they could meet you in person. Well, unfortunately no con appearances, uh, anytime soon, but you know, my Instagram for, if you guys want to see some art that I post every now and then, uh, it's Matt D underscore, uh, uh, L O, uh, 50, 97. Let me make sure. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, Matt, Matt D underscore L O 97. Uh, that's where I post on, on my Instagram. That's where I post, uh, you know, some traditional art. That's where I post my digital art. Um, that's mo that's mostly where people, if they want to, if they want to see what I do, you know, that that's where they can follow. Um, right now, uh, you know, just sticking to some independent work, just stuff that I want to draw. It's summer. I'm not working right now. <laughs> um, but I'm also doing some work for Upper Deck, which I, like you mentioned, I can't divulge because you know they want to keep their they want to keep it secret, a surprise for when they announce it. But I'm keeping busy right now with some cards and my own independent art. Where Where do you live at? Uh, I live in California. California. I was hoping you were yeah. a Texas boy because we're. I mean, we go to Texas all the time. So I mean, we could have we could have definitely uh, arranged a, a meet when we were in Texas. I was I was kind of oh, yeah that would have been awesome yeah yeah I'm sorry yeah I didn't mean to let you down yeah it's okay <laughs> I, we can't all be perfect you know what I mean some of us have to live in other states I get you yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't I don't even live in Texas I'm from Arkansas so it's that I just knocked on myself you know what I mean it is what it is right no uh... brother you got a second for me to just tell everybody what we got going on of course okay. Yeah. On uh, September 30th through October 1st, guys, we will be at the Caltown Comic Con, and that is in Texas. And that's where a lot of our buddies that we talk to on a regular basis will all be under the same roof. So we'll get to hang out there. At the time you're seeing this video, DP's Food Truck Park should either be done or super close to done. All right, so be sure to stay tuned on that. As always, Gabe's Cave After Dark is on Thursday nights where I sell comic books auction style on the Gabe's Cave Comics Card and Collectibles Facebook page. Every Saturday we also have an episode. And, yeah, don't forget to check out all those panels that we referred to that we've got going on. Yeah, brother, anything else you want to say? No, uh, thank you so much for having me on. This has been a blast. Uh, I was a little nervous, but, you know, it, I think it went pretty good. Oh no, it <laughs> did. For it, me on. Yeah. Fantastic work, dude. Thank you for being on. Uh, the interview went awesome. I'm glad to get to talk to you. Yeah, brother. Until next time, homie. Oh, snap. This would be the second or third time I almost did this today. Look, I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, what's up? I need you to take your fingers. I need you to click, click like you're clicking on a mouse or on your keyboard, and we're going to send the viewers away to go win the card from last week. Okay, for sure, yeah. All right, go for it. Click, click. All right.
congratulations, you lucky winners. You get to pick, and one of you is even going to uh, come away with some with some heat this next week. So come back and stay tuned for his cards because you could win this three-piece right here. So all you guys that won last week's cards, congratulations in that loot box. You loser down there at the last, but we love you anyway, so we're going to hook you up. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming on, bro. Thank you for having me on. You know, it was, it was a blast. Thank you so much. Yeah, bro, no problem. All right, Cave Maniacs, until next week. Uncle Nasty, we out. <laughs>